We have to turn it off so you guys can hear us. So if we get a little bit red-faced, you'll know why. Today is one of those days where you have to be farm tough. Um, but it's okay. I'm pretty proud of myself. I hooked this up by myself. I had to find the ball and put it on. Hooked it everything up. Jonah felt bad. He meant to do it yesterday. And he's so it? sick. Um, just a minute, baby. He's so sick that, you know, with the cold and whatnot. That, you know it's fine it's good for me to learn to do these things it's really good but um, farm tough you know Durango is headed for freezer camp you know he's got CAE his joints are not doing well I don't want to make him go through the cold winter and so my friend Kathleen is going to be purchasing his meat um, as a ground up sausage and whatnot so hopefully he'll be good I know he's a buck and rut he's old we'll just see processing fees are are pretty minimal so it's worth the risk and then he doesn't get wasted but this is a with a heavy heart we do this but that's being farm tough right is making those hard choices you can hear me through this wind I got this backed up where I think Jonah might want it I'm gonna go ahead and leave it attached to the Durango though in case in case he wants to move it and then you know there's less work to hook it back up but I'm really proud of myself I'm doing hard things I'm accomplishing hard things we can do hard things right sis yes <laughs> all right how's your math going good <gasps> correct first try <laughs> good job buddy that's my pet and that's me it's great when you learn when math is fun huh Good. We're giving Prodigy Math a try to see if we like it. How are you liking it? Pretty good. It's hard. Well, it's good it's but, hard. Yeah. But, yeah. So. <laughs> I hope Sarah likes it. I hope she does. I think she really will. I think it will be a little hard for her. Mm -hmm. But I think if she has a little bit of help, she'll do pretty good. I'm glad. And I've had minimal complaining from these guys. It's been really cool. And they stayed here while Sarah and I went to take Durango. We need another computer because I'd like to have all three going at the same time. Need another computer. <laughs> but uh, we're trying to do really cool things in our homeschool. Trying. That is going to be heavy. Is your backpack so heavy? Not as heavy as hers. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Really, honestly. Mommy, you pick it here, up. Here, Do you put brakes in there, Em? Oh, she'll fall right over. Oh. <laughs> Can I feel it? Yeah. Sure. Homeschool versus public school, right here, folks. It's heavy, huh? <laughs> Hurts your shoulders. Don't okay, do so that. So we're in week three. How are uh, you doing? I'm doing okay. 
I joined the book club today, which is it's great. That's fun. Yeah. Do you get a book to read yet? No, it's, it's, it's actually not like kind of a book where we have an assigned book that we mm -hmm. read. We just help in the library and stuff like that. Oh, that's and, cool. Yeah, and so um, there's going to be a field trip in April. Um, and we're thinking of going to ISU to check out their library. Mm, so book yeah. nerds unite! Yeah, and so there was... I love that. There's only two, and so we went in after lunch and we're like, Oh, you done with book club? They're like, no, it hasn't start, it doesn't start till three. Not three, till it doesn't start till one. Do you guys want to come? We only have two people. I was like, well, why not? Yeah. We're here. Um, That's awesome. So yeah, we'll do like, either a bake, we're going to do a bake sale and a book sale. It's going to be, oh, that's gonna be really fun. fun. That's really fun. I'm excited for you. Mm. They have been on this program for like two hours now. Sarah, you just don't get to do your school today. <laughs> We'll have to kick somebody off very soon, huh? Not me. No. <laughs> Sarah's having fun with math? Yes. They, seriously, it's been like two share. hours. So that's exciting. Computer. I'm going to hurry and practice before I do any other homework. So today's theme has kind of been conquering hard things, right? So, check out this hard thing that I did a few days ago. I have 10 rabbits here. And if I had known I was going to be pressure canning them, I wouldn't have put them all in freezer bags. But never done this before. I watched a few YouTube videos as a tutorial on how to do this and I'm excited. I've got all my jars washed. I put them in the dishwasher to kind of sterilize them, make them nice. Um, I, I'm going to quarter them and cut off the back straps and pressure can them bone in. That will give them more flavor. That will The broth I will use, it'll be really good. And then I will roast the rib cages and the other bones for bone broth. Nothing gets wasted. And there it is in all of its beautiful completion. My friend Lisa over at Sutton's Days, check out her channel. She's awesome. She was a big help for me to get this meat canned. And there's kind of a joke. She's been teasing me for the past year and a half, two years to use it. So anyway, I'm glad to say Lisa got it done and it feels good. She calls hers ugly chicken, so I'm calling that ugly rabbit. She has a vlog on canning ugly chicken. She's awesome. You're just gonna do this down here, huh? You think you can just play your shiny instrument down here? If that's okay. It depends on how good you are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Run away! No, Everybody no, run either. away! <laughs> I'm Kay. That's the job as a parent and siblings to love and enjoy new things. And we are proud of her for trying new things. And you can play down here all the time. And I'll turn off the camera so you don't have to share your awesomeness with everybody. Unless you want to. Don't want to leave it rolling? No. <laughs> I'd prefer you not. not. <laughs> She's amazing. I will get amazing. You will get amazing. And you are amazing because you're trying. As long as I... Ouch. This strap hurts. As long as I get my scales down. Are you a fish? I thought the same thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, your scale. <laughs> yep. Oh, look. Correct. The sales call is calling me. I hate these stupid calls. You get calls like all day long from random numbers. And it's like, no, I'm not answering the phone. Thank you. <laughs> Dang birds, climbing all over that thing. <laughs> Just don't want them to scratch it. The sharp talon like claws. Let's see if I can startle them. Uh oh, time to leave. <laughs> oh, that had to have scratched it. Yeah, guess it's okay. Needs a car wash.
grateful for a wife that is willing to try and do things that are that for her are are hard sometimes. It means a lot to me. I meant to move this trailer and hook it up for her and get it all ready and and I completely forgot this morning in my rush to get out the door and but she did it herself. I'm proud of her. She did a good job. I just didn't want it parked over there because when we leave the gravel, things get really mucky, mushy in the spring and in the winter, and I don't want to risk getting stuck. So we'll park it here for now until I decide there's a better spot for it. <laughs> Speaking of doing hard things, I, when you choose to live a lifestyle like this, and I'm not saying this is the only lifestyle where this happens, but you're forced to make, we're forced to do hard things because if you don't, you can't, you just, you won't make it. You can't do this. Hard decisions things you're not comfortable with you know it's part of life but living the, the lifestyle we're living we've been forced to make been forced to make hard decisions and do hard things that we haven't had to do before wouldn't have had to do but the more I think about it I think it's just life right life life's gonna throw things at you and you're either going to have to buckle down and do the hard things or, you know, life, life will run you over. I'm just grateful that Trish is willing to do hard things. She's willing to try. She doesn't let it get the better of her. And I'm thankful for that. Very thankful for that. It encourages me to do hard things, to try harder, to turn and face those fears that maybe I'd walk away from or run away from or hide from and say, you know what, no, I'm not going to let this one win. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to do this. And man, it's hot out here. I'm going to go inside. Thanks for joining us on this crazy adventure. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.